All right, let's begin our reading today with prayer. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our God, you bless everyone whose sins you forgive and wipe away. Today's scripture readings talk about how Jesus um, expects everyone to treat others how they want to be treated with love and kindness. And it talks about that, um, how everything we should do should glorify God. Um, it's great because with Valentine's coming up in a couple weeks, that's the holiday all about love and sharing kindness to each other, friends, family. So the readings today, we can talk to our kids more about how uh, we should treat other kids fairly, uh, kindly, and treat everyone how we would want to be treated. So the first reading is a reading from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when you eat or drink or do anything else, always do it to honor God. Don't cause problems for Jews or Greeks or anyone else who belongs to God's church. I always try to please others instead of myself in the hope that many of them will be saved. You must follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble. Our God, you bless everyone whose sins you forgive and wipe away. I turn to you, Lord, when time of trouble. So I confessed my sins and told them all to you. I turn to you, Lord, when time of trouble. And so your good people should celebrate and shout. I turn to you, Lord, when time of trouble. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A man with leprosy came to Jesus and kneeled down. He begged, you have the power to make me well, if only you wanted to. Jesus felt sorry for this man, so he put his hand on him and said, I want to. Now you are well. At once the man's leprosy disappeared and he was well. And Jesus strictly warned the man and sent him on his way. He said, don't tell anyone about this. Just go and show the priest that you are well. Then take a gift to the temple as Moses commanded and everyone will know you've been healed. The man talked about it so much and told so many people that Jesus could no longer go openly into a town. He had to stay away from the town, but people came to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Okay, so kind of in discussing the Gospel reading and tying back to what Caitlin said in the first reading. So Paul says, follow my example and watch what I do in Christ. Then in the Gospel, Jesus shows that by healing the man with leprosy. And I do feel like these are really basic conversations that we can have with kids and I think you can start really young. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old and these are conversations that are very easy for us to discuss. So we would talk about how everyone in your class is your friend. We may have certain people that we choose to play games with more often or maybe someone that's fun to be a partner with, but everyone in your class is your friend. And with that, everyone deserves respect, love, and kindness. So if someone is reading by themselves or someone is in a center by themselves, I always say, how would you feel if you were in a center by yourself? Or how would you feel if you were sitting by yourself at outside? And we have those discussions. And so I would say, if you were not feeling good, do you think if someone else was sitting by themselves, how do you think they're feeling? So I think it's really easy to have those conversations with kids and tie into them that these are conversations and these are life situations that happen daily. Um, I think then once you put it into a small perspective, like a classroom or a sports team, I think then you can talk about it as like bigger world things about how you would treat someone at high V with respect or how we throw away things because who wants to come out and pick that up? And so I think it's a little, ex I think it's a really simple concept, but I think it can be elevated and discussed on multiple levels. And I think the more, the older the kids get, I think it's easier to kind of understand and discuss it on a higher level on things that are more relatable to them. Like I said, we might be discussing about sharing or, you know, um, helping a friend pick up at school. Um, but as you get older, I think the concept of treating others the same might look different. And I think that it's a very simple, basic understanding that can be taught at a very young age. Um, so I think that this is a perfect gospel and reading for February just with kindness and love and we've had a lot of discussion with that with Valentine's Day coming up so um, good luck with conversations with kids um, keep it simple and um, I think kids can understand a lot